myself and, 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 and scientists around the country are eagerly awaiting the final report from the Food and Drug Administration regarding what they believe to be the cause of this outbreak. That report will no doubt lead us to several research questions that must be answered. Regardless of that report, there are other research questions that must be answered. This outbreak that has occurred in Cantaloupe is a, I view it as a warning. And so we need to learn about all aspects of the ability of the bacteria, Listeria mosaitogenes, to survive in the environment in which we produce the cantaloupe. So for example, how long does the bacteria survive in the soil that we grow the cantaloupe in? When the cantaloupes are harvested and transported to the processing facility, can the bacteria survive for long periods on the equipment that is used to process these cantaloupes? And then also for consumers, what can they do to decrease the risk of becoming ill? What are the best ways to wash cantaloupe? When the cantaloupe is cut and stored in the fridge, how long can it be safely stored there before it should be thrown away or consumed? So these are some of the research questions that my research team here at uh, Colorado State University, as well as researchers around the country, will be endeavoring to answer.